The transparent text effect is a super popular effect that you've probably seen all over the place. And if you were wondering how to do that in DaVinci Resolve, well, you're in luck because it's pretty easy. And there's actually a few different ways that you can do it that give you varying levels of flexibility. So today what I'm gonna do is show you three different ways to do it. And one of those ways is actually going to be turned into a fusion template that I'm going to be giving away. So stick around till the end because that's when I'm gonna tell you how to get your hands on it. Anyway, the most efficient, or maybe not efficient, but the quickest, easiest way to do this is to do it in the edit page. So I've got a timeline set up in DaVinci Resolve and I've got some clips that I have snagged from ArtGrid, which is where I get all of my stock footage. If you wanna check them out for yourself, there's a link in the description. And if you sign up for an annual plan using that link, you'll actually get two extra free months. So go ahead and check that out if you want. But anyway, let's get started. Let's drag a video clip into our timeline. We wanna make sure that this is on video track two. This is very important. If you put it on video track one, the effect won't work. Next thing that we're gonna do is come into our effects library and we're gonna grab a text clip and we're gonna drag that into the timeline and we're gonna go ahead. I'm just gonna expand this to the length of the clip. You don't have to do that. It's just what I feel like doing right now. We're gonna come back to the beginning of our clips here. Now, obviously, because our video clip is on top of our text clip, we can't see the text. So let's go ahead and disable track two by clicking this icon right here. And then we're going to grab our text clip, come into the inspector, type in whatever you want. I'm going to go ahead and click or type in transparent text because that's how creative I'm feeling today. Then go ahead and make your text look however you want. I'm going to change this to a different font. We're gonna go with Babus New right there. And we're going to increase the tracking a little bit maybe make this bold and increase the size. And since we're here, let's do a little bit of a text animation. So let's come down to our position. Actually, we're gonna come down to zoom. And what we're gonna do is set a keyframe at the beginning, and then we're gonna move on to the end of our clip. And we're going to select, maybe change this to point, point 0.6. That looks good. And now if we come back, we play that back, we've got a little bit of text animation and we're good to go. Let's go back to the beginning. And now we need to get our video clip inside of our text. So let's go ahead and re-enable video track two. And we're gonna select our video track. We're gonna come into our inspector. We're gonna come down to composite and then we're gonna change our composite mode to darken. And now if we play that back, you can see we've got our video clip inside of our text. Our text is animated and we're good to go. So like I said, it's quick and easy. It's like the simplest way to do the transparent text effect, but you are sacrificing a little bit of flexibility. In fact, other than really doing the transform controls on the text, you don't really have much to do. If you want more flexibility, more options, let's say you wanna add an outline to your text or you wanna change the color of the background, if you wanna do that stuff, you need to go into the Fusion page. So let's grab another clip from our media pool, drag that into the timeline. We're gonna select that clip, we're gonna right click and we're gonna hit new Fusion clip. We're gonna make sure that Fusion clip is selected, make sure our playhead is over that Fusion clip and we're gonna move into Fusion. Let's go ahead and center these. Now, first thing I wanna do is add a merge node because everything's gonna be connected to that. So let's select media in and we're gonna go ahead and hit our merge node icon, which is right here. And we actually wanna change this. So our media in is going into the foreground of our merge node. Now let's select our merge node and we're going to create a background node. We don't need that extra merge there. Let's go ahead and connect our background node to the background of our merge. Move this over here, make it nice and neat. Now let's make sure nothing is selected. We're going to add a text node and we're going to add a transform node. And we're going to connect our transform node into the mask input of our merge node. 
and you'll see a blank screen. Don't freak out. We're gonna fix that right now. Let's go ahead and select our text node and start typing in some text. Once again, I'm gonna do transparent text. It would help if I could spell. Make that look however you want. We're gonna go back to Babus New. Increase the tracking a little bit. Increase the size. And then I wanna do that same text animation here. So I'm gonna click our transform node. I'm gonna come back to the beginning of the clip. I'm gonna come over to size in the inspector. I'm gonna set a keyframe. Then I'm gonna come down to the end and I'm gonna drop that size again to 0.6. Hit enter, that will add another keyframe. Now let's move back to the beginning of our clip. Go ahead and play that back. You can see we've got our video inside of our text. We've got our text animation, so that all looks good. And because we have a background node, we can actually change the color of our background. So let's go ahead and select our background node, come into the inspector, click on color, and just choose any color you want. I like this nice orange color. I'm gonna go ahead and click OK. And now we've got a nice orange background with transparent text and everything looks great. One other thing that you can do is select this merge node and come into your settings in your inspector and select apply mask inverted. And what that will do is that will make your text yellow and then you'll have your video around it. And what you can do with that is you can actually keyframe that checkbox throughout your clip and you can make the background switch from yellow to transparent and then vice versa with the text and you can actually create a pretty cool effect. All right, we've got two methods down, one to go. Now this is the one that I'm gonna be turning into a fusion template. Again, stick around till the end so you can figure out how to get your hands on it. This method is really cool, it really gives you the most flexibility and it also allows you to add multiple video clips inside of your text, which is just super, super cool. So let's go ahead, we're gonna move our playhead to the end here, shrink that timeline down just a little bit. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna come into our media pool, we're gonna right click, and we're gonna hit new fusion composition. Give it a name, transparent text, and hit create. Now we're gonna grab that fusion composition, we're gonna bring it into our timeline, make sure it's selected, bring our playhead over it, and head over to the Fusion page. Okay, so right now, all we have is media out. We need to add some stuff here. So let's go ahead and drag a video clip into our node tree. And we're gonna add a merge node. And just so we can see what we're doing, let's drag that merge node into our video player. We're gonna connect our media in with the foreground of our merge node. So we're gonna select our merge node. We're gonna add a text node. I don't know why I added another merge. We don't really need that. Let's connect our text to the background of our merge node. Then we're gonna select our merge node and we're gonna come over into our inspector and we are going to change our operator to in and that's going to place our foreground into our background. So now if we select our text node and we type in something like J cuts, let's go ahead and do Babus new again increase the tracking, increase the size, you can see that we've got video inside of our text. But like I said, we can actually put multiple videos inside this text. And in order to do that, the first thing that we need to do is add a transform to our video clip. Let's go ahead and select our video clip, hit transform. Let's go ahead and bring our size down. That looks good right there. Bring our center over. And now we wanna create a mask for this video clip because then we can actually shrink it down so it only covers the J and the A, which is what I want. So let's select our media in again. And we're gonna create a rectangle mask by selecting this icon here. Bring the center over. Increase the height. Maybe bring our position down a little bit. And 
And now we've got our video inside of J and A. Next thing we wanna do is select all of our nodes except for our text node. We're going to copy and then make sure that nothing is selected. We're gonna hit paste. And since we're done with this, I'm gonna go ahead and group these nodes by selecting them, right clicking and hitting group. Let's move that over here. Always like keeping things organized. Next thing we're gonna do is connect our text to the background of merge one. We also don't want to keep the same video clip. So what we're gonna do is we're going to select our media in and we're gonna drag another clip. Let's go with this Union Station clip. Connect the rectangle to the mask, connect the media in to the transform. And we wanna see what we're doing here. So let's go ahead and drag that merge node into our video playback. Let's grab our transform here and we are going to move to right about there. And then we're gonna grab our rectangle and we're going to increase our width. And we grab our transform and we just wanna play around with it. There we go. Now we've got the Y, C, and U covered. Now let's make sure that nothing is selected. We're gonna hit Control V again to give us another instance of that little mini node tree. And since we're done with this, I'm gonna go ahead and group these again. Call that group two. And once again, we're gonna connect our text to the output of the merge. Bring this a little bit closer. We're gonna replace our video clip again. So let's delete that. Bring in our clip of the empty park, connect our mask to our video clip and connect our video clip to our transform. And just so we can see what we're doing, let's grab our merge and bring it into our playback monitor. Let's grab our transform and we are going to bring the center over so it is covering the T and the S. Grab our mask, bring that over. We want to increase the size of our video clip a little bit. There we go. And once again, let's go ahead and group these together. And now we've got our three groups. Now we need to connect these three groups together. So we're gonna need a few merge nodes. So let's go ahead and grab a merge and grab group one, drop it into the merge. We have group two, drop it into that merge. We're gonna add one more merge node. Bring it over here. Drop that in there. Now, if we grab this merge four and we bring it, bring it in here, you can see we've got three different video clips playing underneath our text. But we're not done. Like I said, I wanna add an outline to this text. I wanna add a background, maybe animate the text a little bit. Let's go ahead and start with the outline. So first thing we're gonna do is select our text node. We're gonna copy that by hitting Control C. And then we're going to right click anywhere and hit paste instance. And while we're at it, let's go ahead and add another merge node. We'll connect that and connect that. Grab this merge node, bring it in here. And you'll see we've got white text. So what we can do is select this instance text, come over into our inspector, click on shading, so what we wanna do is make sure that this white text has most of its controls controlled by our main text node, but then a couple things that are separate. So what we wanna do first is we wanna come over to appearance and we want to right click on appearance and click on D instance. That'll make it so the appearance is separate from the main text node. And then what we can do is come over here to just outline. And now we've got an outline on our text and we still see our video clips playing underneath it. And we also wanna come down to our thickness and we wanna right click that and click D instance. And now we can play around with the thickness of our outline. So I'm gonna do 0 0.004 
Now we've got a nice little outline here. All right, last thing we're gonna do is add a background to all of this. So let's go ahead and make sure nothing is selected. We are going to add a background node and then make sure nothing is selected and we're gonna add another merge node. So let's go ahead and we're going to put this merge into the foreground of merge five, or is that merge six? Merge six. And then we're gonna put the background into the background of merge six. Go ahead and grab this merge, bring it onto our playback monitor so we can see what we got. We got a nice black background here. And if we wanted, again, we could change the color. We can make it that orange color again. And there you go. So we've got our background, we've got our transparent text, we've got an outline around that text. Now let's say you wanted to animate this text. What you would do, let's go ahead and add a little bit of space here. We're gonna grab this merge five and we're going to add a transform node. So let's go ahead and grab transform. Make sure that transform node is selected. We're at the beginning of our clip. We're going to select or make a keyframe. And we're gonna come down to the end of our fusion composition and change that to 0.6. And now the final step is to grab merge six, connect it with media out. Let's put media out in our playback monitor. It's not gonna change. Let's go ahead and move our playhead back to the beginning, play that through. You can see we've got three different videos playing underneath our text. We've got a background, the text is animated and we have an outline around our text. And then last thing I'm gonna do for good measure is grab that transform node. I'm gonna open up my splines. I'm going to find my keyframes here. I'm gonna select those and I'm gonna hit S and it's gonna give us a nice ease in and out of that animation. Now that is by far the most complicated way of doing transparent text, but it gives you a ton of flexibility. So just in case you're a little bit overwhelmed and you don't want to deal with that yourself, but you want that amount of flexibility, I have created a fusion template for you that you can just drag and drop into your fusion node area and get to work, which is super, super cool. And if you want to get your hands on that, all you have to do is become a channel member. That's right, I'm giving away all of my templates, presets, and even LUTs to my channel members. So if you want access to all that stuff, as well as a private Facebook group and monthly live editing trainings, make sure you click the join button below this video and become a channel member today. There is so much that you can do with text inside of DaVinci Resolve, especially if you add fusion into the mix, like for instance, the right on text effect, which has been a big hit with you guys. If you have no idea what I'm talking about, then check out this video right here. And for more tools, tips, and tricks that'll make you a better video editor, make sure you subscribe to the channel and hit that bell so you don't miss anything. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.